Hello, my name is Andy York, your Cargo Loop Administrator. Today, I'll show you how to add a new vehicle in Cargo Loop. All of our clients add their newly purchased vehicles into Cargo Loop, and it is very important that you do this process correctly. Incorrect information when entering in a vehicle can result in extra shipping charges, your vehicle delivered to the wrong terminal or destination port, or other potential problems. To begin, log in and click on the Vehicles page. To the left, you will see the New Vehicles button. Click this button and it will open the New Vehicles form. Under Client Data Fields, fill out the first part of the form with the correct auction. Click on the drop-down menu and select the auction you purchased your vehicle from. Scroll down and click at the next drop-down menu titled Auction Location. After you have selected the location, Cargo Loop automatically selects the terminal closest to where you bought your vehicle. If you need to change the terminal, you can, but know that changing the terminal will always increase your local transportation costs. Use the next drop-down menu to select the vehicle buyer. For the next box titled Lot Number, use the lot number provided by the auction. If you purchased your vehicle from a dealer or from an auction which doesn't provide lot numbers, use the last six digits of the vehicle's VIN number. Next, select your correct vehicle type. Selecting the wrong vehicle type can lead to incorrect invoicing and extra charges. It is important that you select the correct vehicle type to avoid problems. Under Description, please describe the year, make, and model of the car. For example, 2008 Toyota Camry. Remember, the terminal has been selected for you based on your auction location. You can change to a different terminal if you need to, but remember, changing the terminal will result in extra fees. Clicking the Show Route button will bring up a map showing you the route from the auction location to the selected terminal. Use the drop-down menu to select the destination port. If the wrong destination port is selected, your vehicle will be delivered to the wrong port. Please be absolutely positive you have selected the correct destination port when entering in a new vehicle. Concerning the purchase price, please make sure that you enter the correct purchase price so that the shipper can submit the export declaration. Submitting the correct price of a vehicle is a U.S. Customs federal requirement. Next, select your purchase and payment dates. The purchase date is used by the shipper to calculate when storage may start accumulating at a particular auction. Select the correct payment option based on your arrangements with the shipper. Only select a payment date if you are paying directly to the auction. This will let the shipper know when the car will be ready for pickup. Check the Consolidate Shipment box if your vehicle can be combined in a container with other clients' vehicles. Make sure to click Save before you leave the page. This will bring you back to your main vehicles page and you will see that your new vehicle is now listed at the top. At this point, open up the vehicle details by clicking on it to review that the information you entered is correct. You can make changes if necessary and click save again. As you have seen, adding a vehicle to Cargo Loop is an easy yet extremely important function of Cargo Loop. Making sure that you enter in accurate information ensures that the shipping process goes smoothly. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through email info at cargoloop.com. Thank you and have a wonderful day.